This station defies all reason. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrael. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. I know how he feels, but we have to keep going. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. It was not because of you. This was Diablo's work. You did everything you could. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime evil. You must not give in to doubt, Tyriel. You became one of us, and now you must live and fight as one of us. Give in to despair if you must, or come and fight with me. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. against each other, they undid themselves. Within Diablo, within the Prime, there is no such division. And now, the halls of the high heavens quake beneath his steps. The Prime evil. I can't believe all this has come to pass. Adria played us all for fools. Diablo's influence twisted her inside and I suspect we have not seen the last of her. I should have known that Leah's father was the Wanderer. How could I not have sensed Diablo's foul presence within her? Adria is a true monster. She sacrificed her own daughter to resurrect Diablo. But poor Leah. I grieve for her soul. There is nothing worse than what was done to Leah. But we cannot mourn her now. Diablo must be stopped. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. Iskato, destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. The armies of the Lord, you believe you can defeat me, mortal? Closer to my ultimate victory. The ancient texts describe the terror demons as unconquerable foes. The dreams of Diablo made flesh. They appear in shadow to torment their victims, and then, in shadow, they vanish. The mere sight of one drove a Herodron to madness, leaving him screaming and clawing at his eyes until the end of his days. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then my destiny is unknown and can still be written. Write it with me or watch all of creation burn around you. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnoth, the Lord of Despair. I will find her, 
and hope will be restored to the heavens. No one has seen an armored destroyer since Diablo was exiled from the burning hell centuries ago. Before then, they were the bulk of his army, and they crawled thick as locusts over the face of their master's realm. Should the Lord of Terror ever return, I fear they would be his heralds. I have seen many warriors in my day, but only a scant few of them could face the might of an oppressor. This Monster towers over the tallest barbarians and wields weapons crafted from hell-forged steel. They were last seen with Bale during his resurgence and left legions of dead men in their wake. the heavens. In the beginning, 
Rakanoth served Andaril, the Maiden of Anguish, with efficient brutality, for his touch may open up many painful wounds. He was also the Warden of Iswal during many long years that the Angel suffered in Rakanoth's own Plains of Despair. But he has quit his realm unexpectedly in recent times. Thank you, Nephilim. I hoped the scroll of fate was wrong, that harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. You are bound by the chains of fate no longer. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. It would be an honor, my lady. Diablo nearly brought ruin to the heavens as despair bled into the angels' hearts. But now I have restored hope and rallied them. Tyrion is still lost in the devastation. Now alone I must go to destroy Diablo's hell portals. silenced again. I know you will do all you can, for this is your hour. Go forth with my blessing and show all creation why the Nephilim are the future. Can you help Tyrion? I fear he is lost in his own doubts. There is a shadow upon his heart, but it will pass. Remember, he chose to be a mortal, and he must overcome this despair as a mortal. The time to stop Diablo passes quickly. Tyrion may be needed very soon. Have faith in him. Of all the Archangels, his light has always shone the brightest. In this our darkest hour, he will ensure that justice prevails. Will you help us fight? Though the angelic host is scattered, we are not defeated. I will try to rally them as best I can. Do you believe we can defeat Diablo? Only in the light that lies within you, Nephilim. I will take part from it and hope for your victory. The future is ever writing itself. Unmovable, just beyond sight and touch. Only once in the history of Sanctuary has a Netherland been as powerful as you. His name was Odysseus. The spirits whisper of a man who sacrificed himself to save the world. But the spirits sometimes speak in riddles. He was no myth. Because of his noble sacrifice, I saw the inherent potential in your kind. As such, I voted with Aurea to spare mankind from annihilation. Those of you who chose to save humanity chose wisely. And now, I will repay that trust and defeat the prime evil. Can you see the future? I see the myriad streams of possibility, all intertwining and weaving into one another. I can hear them echoing forward into eternity. So many paths. Which do you choose? I am not called to be a champion as you are. My role is simply to observe. How does this scroll of fate read about this battle? 
doom and darkness. These heavens ruined. The angelic host broken. Diablo victorious. I will not let it be so. As I have said, Nehemiah, your destiny is unwritten. You alone may change these dark times. Strongest to the northeast as I remember. 